This is just an additional video of them, people who want to uh, siphon the water in, uh, which is sometimes a better idea, it prevents potential air, air locks and um, it is a lot easier and quicker to, uh, to do. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. We uh, unscrew the overflow screw, as normal, and we have some water on a higher level than the machine itself and we have a soft end of the pipe goes into the water and the hard end of the pipe is going to go in there so to siphon what we need to do is we need to suck the water through till it hits our lips basically and uh, then just squeeze it and when we do that we need to quickly put it in there you may get a few drips on the fan but don't worry about it so I'm going to do that now squeeze it push it in there and then it will just fill so we'll leave that to fill, it'll probably take, uh, I don't know, three or four minutes, something like that. Just remember to have a container or something to uh, catch the water as it starts dribbling out of the machine. Right, now as you can see, a little bit of water starting to uh, pour out the back there. So we can zoom in a little bit to show you. You can see, but... We're looking for more of a constant flow than just a, a few drips of water, so um, keep it running for a bit. Push out any air. I sometimes think an, an extra couple of litres just to flush through after, after, even when you know it's full, is a good idea, just so we know there's no air, which is one of the biggest problems on these machines. You can see now we've got a constant flow, so I'm going to be happy that's full. So we'll just uh, nip the pipe and push that black ring in. And then, of course, we need to put the nut back on. And that's a siphoning technique. <laughs> Goodbye.